Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. So today we're going to be reviewing a day in the life of a software engineer. And you know it's going to be a good video because it's got 1.3 million views from uh, Sarah Pan. So with that said, guys, make sure to subscribe and let's begin right now. Oh man, they all start with the same alarm. Why do they got to do that? Every single video of the day in the life starts with that always starts in the morning. Why can't someone at least just do a happier sound? Just just don't do that sound. It's horrible. Why does her entire place just looks like it's an Instagram post? Like everything is so just it's got that Instagram feel to it. Look at the view. It's really nice actually. I like this. I usually start my day around 9 a.m. My work schedule is pretty flexible, so I can start anywhere from 7.30 to 11 a.m. Why she got such cool tile? I really like her place a lot, like already, like we've barely seen it. And the design is flawless, I love it. I used to put on a lot of makeup every day when I started working from home, but now it's kind of a toss up depending on how much time I have and whether or not I feel like putting on makeup. Yeah, I gotta say working from home, I've just lost all track of just uh, both time Days and uh, my fashion sense is just Besides obviously just wearing a t-shirt nine times out of ten. I'm wearing sweatpants just like sw sweat shorts and just Non-matching socks and, and even when I leave the house. I'm so comfortable already. I've just stopped wearing pants It's just like now. I just wear sweatpants 99% of the time if I put on jeans It's like that's a that's a big deal for me to want to put on jeans, but uh, it skews Absolutely everything. To be honest, I get really lazy about breakfast, so I try to have a stash of something easy that I can have in the mornings so I don't have to make anything. So today I just decided to have some Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is my absolute favorite cereal. If you don't like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, then you can exit the video right now. Oh, it's so good, but it's all sugar. It's like, to me, that's a dessert. You may as well just be like, hey guys, I'm eating dessert this morning for breakfast every day. Uh, it's so good, it is so good though. Uh, I would say Cinnamon Toast Crunch is probably one of my favorite cereals, and you get those, the, the odd uh, crunches that have like five times the amount of cinnamon sugar on them, and those are the best. We are finally doing the day in the life of a software engineer. This is a highly requested video that I've been pushing off because I don't want my coworkers to find my channel. And second, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of shy about my job stuff, and so I don't really talk about it that much on my channel. Meanwhile, the video gets 1.3 million views, and now all of her coworkers know about it because they've been recommended by the YouTube algorithm. The work that I do every single day actually varies depending on the project that I'm working on as well as the state of the project. Today, I actually started off with doing a little bit of research into how we could integrate this feature that I'm working on into an existing pipeline that another team owns. Interesting, she works from her bedroom. I don't know if I could do that. I, I could do some computer work on there, but uh, working and, and sleeping in the same spot, I, I've heard that's bad. I've heard you're not supposed to do that, but uh, I don't know. Here, I was just going through and writing some tests for my code, and unfortunately, it wasn't passing. Bailey, stop it. Even though this meeting is with the smaller sub team, it also includes the product manager and the UX designer for our broader team. I wonder if she's still working from home. It seems like a lot of these companies are beginning to return back to the office. I'm curious, is she one of those people who's not going back to the office? Let's see. First meeting of the day, done. So for lunchtime, I try to stick with something super quick. Today I just decided to make some pasta noodles with eggs, bok choy, and cabbage. Uh, we're turning into a Joshua Weissman channel now. Making lunch, but better, but cheaper. This looks pretty good though. I like how she's eating directly from the pan. It saves dishes. Why wouldn't you do that? I actually agree with this. This is smart. So this is my work from home setup. You'll see that I have my laptop and my other miscellaneous laptops in my laptop holder that I showed you guys in my Brooklyn apartment tour. I just have my AirPods and then some scrap papers for notes. I also have this ginormous monitor on my desk, which I use mostly for work purposes, but that's my work from home setup. Oh, it's nice. Look at this. She's got one of those desks that goes up and down. We got something similar to that a while ago and uh, they're great. I think, I think they work well. There's a lot of standing desk companies, but I got this one and I think it's called the Compar all in one standing desk. The one thing I really love about it is it's automated so you can adjust the height 
and then it also has these ports and a little drawer so i can just put all my crap in there i will put a referral link down below if you guys are interested wow plug in the referral code i'm gonna try to finish up coding as well i have this change list that i'm working on and i just want all the tests to pass so that i can send it out for review and it has been taking me so long but yeah just gonna spend the rest of this time coding a little and then work on the other action item It's funny, she's probably more productive working at home than a lot of people in their office. I mean, you gotta think too. It's like, what did she do? She took a quick break on TikTok, ate lunch. That, that's it, there's, there's no distractions here. I say that and then she just gets distracted by the cat. I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and now it's just my non-work time. It's not terribly messy, but there's clutter everywhere. She's got a really nice place. I love the design. It's She could be a designer in another life. So I still have three minutes on the break. So I thought I would just show you guys maybe an updated apartment. I think we did add a few things since the last time you guys have seen it. So she's doing everything here. She's doing a day in the life. She, she gave an office tour and she's given a home tour all in one. This is the most beautiful thing ever. This is a side table from Viva Home and it is just the perfect space for us to put this mirror which was on the ground a couple of weeks ago and i love this so much this is all my crap <laughs> and then just a ton of food and boxes and things like that those are some of the new things that we got for the apartment and i think we have 15 seconds left on the break and back to work I think this video makes everyone want to be a software engineer after this. It seems like such a chill day. I think today I wanted to do some grocery shopping at Trader Joe's, so I don't really have time to cook and also grocery shop. I did ask James if he wanted to just go eat at Moon's with me and then go grocery shopping, so I think that's the plan. <laughs> It's Wait, am I looking at it? Where are they located? Oh, oh, New York City. <laughs> so stupid. I'm like, where is this? Literally in the title. Gosh. <laughs> this is really cool. It makes me want to move to New York City. You know, I, I don't like huge cities like that, but this seems just fun. Oh, Trader Joe's, they're so good. Everything there is just delicious. It's one of the best places. If you have a Trader Joe's, highly recommend you go. Afterwards, I usually end my night by spending a couple of hours to edit. I try to post videos once a week, but it does get really hard on my schedule. So whenever I do have time at night, I do try to prioritize editing over anything else. That's a good grind. Working all day, getting dinner, seeing a friend, and back to work. I love this. On average, I end the night around 12 or 1 a.m. Recently, it's been really late, so I've been sleeping at two or three. But excluding that, let's just say I sleep around 1 a.m. I do the typical brushing my teeth, night routine things, and that's basically a day in my life as a software engineer. I love this video, it's fantastic. I think it's an honest day in the life of the software engineer in New York City. It's unglamorous, but it's true and, and it's fun. It makes you want this exact same lifestyle. I don't know what it is about it, it just seems great. I love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and also make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.